Hello everyone and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge where we mix and mash and swirl together all sorts of special genes using our Sims 4 custom content and uh, plenty of creative ideas from you guys. And now it is time once more to continue on with our journey in the end with our lovely Ender Dragoness who has had quite a bit of luck with some unusual children after taking care of all of the various animals that wander through her end portals and into her realm. And uh, this time, we actually are finally going to answer the question of what happens when pigs can fly. <laughs> That's right, you guys. It is finally, finally time to see what happens when we take another member of the Minecraftian realm of the humble pig and see what happens when we mix the pig's genetics and our dragon genetics. And I have to say, I am once again blown away by Kalino's custom content. She has done the custom content for both of the dragons. Or the dragon and the pig. And I made this pig a little pot belly pig, kind of like we did when we had Moana's um, piglet Pua. We did crossbreed Pua and some Pekingese a while ago. So if you guys haven't seen that, that's kind of an adorable little mixed breed adventure that we did. But this one is your classic Minecraftian pig, complete with the little stripes down the sides. Look at those, the three little stripes that the pigu has. Oh, I love it. And it does have a curly tail that is up top instead of in back. Uh, and it has a little pot belly, which I love. And it has a little pig nose. All of these things, once more, from our wonderful Kalino. And these are gonna be really fun to see because now we're gonna see if we can actually take a pig and if we can take a little dragon and if we can mix them together. And this is going to be a very different kind of mix than we've done with our Ender Dragoness so far because we won't be able to put any of the dragon features onto the small babies who were born who are going to be pig sized uh, so this might actually be more like if you're big you get to turn into a dragon and if you're small you get to be a pig because the only thing they can share are either the hooves or the claws that we could change on their children. It'll make more sense once we start hatching up these eggs. Don't worry, my friends. But definitely go and check Kalino out because I do think that she has been working on small dragons. I saw some hints of that a while ago, so I would love to see if that actually comes true. But for now, the pig. This humble pig has actually wandered through the portal because they have escaped a quite perilous situation. They were born on a farm, on one of the farms that, you know, isn't really built for its style. No, my friends, they were built on a redstone farm. That is where this little pig was born after its piggy parents ended up having a bunch of carrots thrown in their face. And uh, most of the pigs have to wait in a teeny tiny little corral there until the moment when they are big enough to be turned into pork pies, which is or bacon or, you know, the pork, to be honest. And that, that's not a fate this little pig wanted. They did not want to be stuck inside of an automated farm in this Minecraftian realm. And so eventually, with hope and endurance in their heart, this little pigu managed to glitch his way right out of the corral that he was inside of, wander down the hall, past just chest after chest after chest full of diamonds, full of wool, full of sugarcane, and eventually found his way to the teleportation room, where he could take two paths. He could have stepped through the nether portal and ended up being with his, <laughs> the, uh, you know, the pigman brethren, which I'm sure would take in a little lost wandering pig, or he could go through the end portal. And, you know, being a pigu who has only recently glitched through a corral and escaped down a hallway, he didn't really know which one to go through. And he ended up stepping through the end portal right into the waiting snout of the Ender Dragoness, who had been sniffing around that portal, lured by all of the delicious metals that were inside, and uh, was pretty excited that she has yet another new experiment that we can go ahead and lay some eggs with and see what the results will be. So all right, there's that adorable story. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little pigu's origin story. 
and let's go ahead and see what their children are going to hatch into. And as always, you guys, if you want to end up becoming one of these little hybrids that we are about to have, all you need to do is leave a comment in the video description, or a comment below the video description. Haha, -ha, I am the only one who is allowed in the video description. So nary, my friends, you shall not be there, only I shall. But all you need to do is leave a comment down below and the random comment generator shall pick you, hopefully, to become a pig dragon crossbreed, which I'm sure is something we all hope for, right? <laughs> all right, guys, let's go ahead and do this. The eggs are laid. They are wiggling in their nest. What will they end up being? We have the ender dragon. We have the pig. <gasps> oh, oh, it's like a little curly tail. That is so adorable. You guys, welcome to Dove Star. Dove Star, welcome, welcome, my dear. I'm so glad that you can join us. Uh, you cannot give milk. We have to wait for the cows in order to do that. And you cannot give wool because you are not part sheep. But you can indeed be a jumpy, energetic, and playful little one who perhaps these are pigs who really love jumping over fences because their father will teach them that is the way to freedom young piglet dragons jump over fences and you too shall find your way into new lands all right so let's go ahead and add in a new one and we're gonna go ahead and have another egg start wiggling waggling hatching oh hello let's see do i want to keep this this design or do i want to go with pigu I think we're gonna go ahead and with these ones, we're gonna go with Pegu colors. Let me think about this. I mean, we could keep this coloration. Hmm, you know what? We'll keep this coloration. That's okay. Cause you just never know what you're gonna get when you mix like a pig and a dragon together. So a brown pig dragon is fine. All right, Wolf Spirit 22. There you have it. You have finally had your opportunity to come in and be part of our realm, my friend. And you are a sleuth, a very curious, playful, and independent little wolf dragon, or like, excuse me, your wolf spirit, the dragon pig. And we're gonna have to see how all of that turns out when you grow up. So will you be a large dragon or a small pig? We will have to see. All right, let's go ahead and see what's next. We're gonna pull up. Oh, that's a cute one. Oh, wow. This is Samantha. And Samantha, a Charizard and a Vaporeon sound like an amazing mix in the future. Holy cow, I would really love to do that. And you are a smart, adventurous troublemaker. Hmm, we're ending up with quite an interesting, very, very interesting, um, <laughs> Very interesting mix of babies here. And then let's go ahead and hatch up another one. None of them are pigs yet. I really wanted to see when a pig could fly. If we get another brown one, I might put my little foot down. <gasps> oh, that one's so cute. It's kind of like a wild boar. All right, this is Pamela Star Soul. So I'm going to go ahead and name this one Star Soul. That's an amazing name. And you, my friend, are a sleuth who is lazy and stubborn. So you really are very curious about things, but by golly, you're gonna get your naps and everybody else can get out of the way. That's kind of adorable. All right, let's go ahead and mix another one. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. The egg is wiggling, waggling, and hatching. <gasps> a piggy! Huzzah! I was really hoping we would get some proper pigus. All right, and this is actually going to be small. So small. A Vaporeon and Umbreon sound like an amazing cross to do in the future too. And small, you are a hunter, which means that even though you look like a little piglet, you actually have the soul of a dragon who is vocal and active. So that's gonna be really fun to see what you're gonna turn into. For sure i really want to have more pigs so if we get another like brown or red one as cute as they would be i feel like we'll go ahead and re-roll because i want to see more little piglets all right let's go ahead and there we go nope 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 that's getting siblings sorry about that guys i was trying to pull up a new name and got distracted all right come on last egg ender dragoness another amazing mix between these two all right, this one, we're gonna go ahead and re-roll. 
until we get one that looks like a little pigu or an ender, dra ender dragon with a curly tail it is behold my friends random from random drocker random welcome to the family i hope that you're enjoying being part of this group i love that you are also jumpy i think that that is a fantastic trait for all of these pigu crossbreeds to have and you are lazy and playful so all right guys this is going to be the moment of truth we ended up only with one pigu I kind of, Star Soul, I love how you look, but man, I, I think next time I'm going to stick really closely to like one or the other so we can kind of see what these little ones would grow up into without the mixed coloration. But let's go ahead and grow them up. If they are going to be large, then they will actually inherit all of the dragon traits, except for the feet. And if they're going to be small, they're actually going to inherit all the piglet traits. So let's see what happens here. Dove Star, as you grow up, Will you reach for the clouds? Not that I'm sure there's clouds in the end. Or will you end up uh, kind of trotting around with your little piglet dad? <gasps> this is going to be a dragon with a curly tail. Okay, I'm going to leave the curly tails because I think that that is freaking adorable. But that means that we have, oh my gosh, a very broad faced ender dragoness. <laughs> oh, Dove Star, you're going to like fly right in there and take some names. Look at her. Wow, I love the curly tail. That is so cute. All right, so that is Dove Star. Then we're going to go ahead and grow up Wolf Spirit. Oh, Wolf Spirit's a big one too. All right, Wolf Spirit. That means that you, you look like you have dad's tummy. That's funny. Wolf Spirit, you two are going to have the horns. We'll leave the curly tail because it is just way too precious. You're going to have the wings. Um, I'll go ahead and leave the wings black this time. That looks really cool. And you are going to have the claws. So there we go. So Wolf Spirit, you have now grown up into being a very interesting mix. You don't really see a lot of the piglet parts except for the adorable curly tail there. And then let's go ahead and pull up Samantha. <gasps> so far, everybody is just turning into big dragons. So our little piglet is just going to have like a bunch of, look at that face, oh my gosh. A bunch of dragon children to defend him. All right, let's come on down with the wings. There we are. Oh, and actually I need to be rolling for the feet. What am I doing? All right, so then we actually have mom's feet, mom's feet on the first two. And actually, instead of claws, we have little hooves. We have little hooves on Samantha. So she too represents a little bit more about her piglet father. Also, I think that's why her face is so short and smushed. But I sort of love, I love when they look really wonky like this, because I would never create an animal like this. Only our random pets genetics challenge could demand this of us. All right, let's see what Star Soul is going to look like. Another big one. Let me go ahead and roll to see. You're going to have Mom's Claws, Star Soul. This is kind of a fun mix. This one makes me think, um, we'll do like all oranges. Makes me think of the nether. So maybe if you cross a pig and a dragon, you end up with a crossbreed who is meant for the nether. All right, let's do it. Yeah, there we go. Let's get some nether colors going on. There we are. And yeah, you actually have mom's claws and you have mom's tail. So we're going to add that in too, even though you're super fluffy for some reason. <laughs> okay, that's a really cool, Star Soul. I'm happy that we have you too. But now here's the moment of truth, friends. Will Smol end up being the pig that can fly or did we just not end up having any flying pigs in this crossbreed mix and match let us go ahead and see <gasps> we don't have a flying pig oh you guys we might have to do this again and have when pigs fly because i really wanted to have a pig fly <laughs> But all right, guys, instead we do have a little pig. So let me make sure I find all of the correct pig pieces to add on with a long nose that is so adorable. And then we want to have that big old belly and we want to have those hooves. Let me grab the right ones. Are these them? I think these are them. And there we go. So we have a little pigu with a narrower snout. 
perhaps more meant for being able to, to you know, I, I think this is actually going to be a pigu who has an appetite for metal, chasing after all of those iron ingots that some of the Minecraftian adventurers drop. But all right, we might have to do a second litter to try to make it so that pigs can fly because I really wanted to have that happen. <gasps> and then we have a tiny little pig dragon. Oh my gosh, that's going to be adorable. In fact, because, oh, oh, I can't give them the full horns, but I can give them these little horns. Can I do those little horns in the nose? Oh, I can't do the little horns in the nose. That's okay. We're going to have a little, there we go, a little black piglet who is just like its inner dragon mom and probably also has an appetite for ingots. I actually loved this group a lot more than I thought I was going to. I love all of them all the time, but you just never know how each one's gonna turn out and how they're gonna create their own stories together. Like, I feel like Star Soul can just open up portals to the nether at a whim. That would be such an amazing ability. I also think she can't really see very well because both of her eyes are like facing completely opposite directions. <laughs> oh dear. But all right, my guys, thank you so much, my friends, for joining us. My guys, oh my gosh, Siri, you need to have some more tea. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. If you could, do please leave a like to toss some uh, carrots and some ingots to our hungry dragon piglets and wish us well for perhaps doing another litter with these two so that we can have wind pigs fly. If you guys have some suggestions or if you would like to become one of our hybrid animals, do please leave a comment down below. If you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.